Ram's new electric pickup truck will get a range extended version. Here's everything we know so far. And also my opinion of Ram's pickup truck. Hello my friends and welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. It's a great day here. It's actually 4 a.m. on a Sunday morning, but people can't wait. So I'm here bringing you the news. Now, if you want to check out my son, Jack and Cal's channel, I'll put a link in the description below. My son's names are Jack and Cal. And as you can see, there's my little five-year-old's BMX race bike just in the background over there. Both of them raced today and I've got a video up of their race today. You can check it out if you want to. Ram is preparing to launch its first all electric pickup truck, which is the Ram 1500 electric pickup in 2024. Sounds a long way away, but realistically, I mean, we're only looking at two years now. They recently announced the Ram Revolution inside a program to provide more info about what is coming. According to autoblog.com, Mike Koval Jr., Ram brand CEO, has confirmed in an interview that in addition to their all-electric pickup truck, there will also be a range extended version. He said it will be a part of Ram trying to respond to customer interests and concerns as well as offering more than expected, whatever that means. He didn't go into detail about the powertrain, but it will launch alongside the electric model in 2024. Now, I don't know about you, but my favorite American pickup truck right now in this size, aside from the electric pickup trucks, because obviously I'd buy an electric one and not a gas powered one. But in terms of gas powered pickup trucks, my favorite is the Ram 1500. I don't know why, but I love it. And honestly, I'm really excited to see an electric version, but Ram are a little bit late to the party. Obviously, Chevy, General Motors with the Silverado are gonna bring theirs pickup truck out this year. Same thing for Ford, Rivian's is already out. Tesla, probably 2023, next year. I mean, Ram, 2024, they're taking their time. But one other cool thing about Ram is that they actually said this. They said, gas is basically dead. <laughs> I love this. Coming from the guys that make and build and design and develop the Dodge Challenger and the Dodge Charger, they said they've gone as far as they can go with gas and the future is electric. They've basically said, if they want more power, if you want more speed, You've got to go electric. I made a video about that, I think about six months ago. I was excited to hear that because we're talking about petrol heads here, gas heads, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what, don't know what you Americans call them. I don't know what you guys call them in Europe. Apologies for that. In Here in Australia, we call them petrol heads. People who love gas mobiles, you know, love muscle cars. Personally, I'm one of them. But I agree, the future of muscle cars coming from Ram and Dodge themselves is electric. It's not really a surprise that there will be a range extender version of the 1500 pickup truck. Because back in July, 2021, they actually kind of mentioned this. They said on a marketing flyer that there would be a range electric paradigm breaker, whatever that means, with all the driving characteristics of electric vehicles with real world range and flexibility. However, at the time, people didn't realize what they were referring to. At the time, I thought they were referring to a plug-in hybrid, not a fully electric vehicle. However, we now know it's gonna be fully electric. However, it's possible that this range extender version could have an onboard generator, which will simply support the battery to increase range, especially when towing. Kind of like a plug-in hybrid, but more plug-in and less gas. Now, this is only speculation at this point. I don't know if this is true, but it would make sense, especially considering Ram will come a little bit after Ford and GM with their all-electric pickup, and it would be good to offer something else to differentiate themselves from the rest of the market. That said, to be honest, I don't even think they need to do that. Let's be real. There's no way known that Tesla, Rivian, General Motors, and Ford can build enough electric pickups to come anywhere near satisfying demand by 2024, 2025, or 2026. It's just not gonna happen. As soon as the market starts to get their hands on these electric pickups from General Motors and Ford and Tesla, uh, people are just gonna desert gas-powered pickups very, very quickly. Because if you're a tradie, if you're a tradesperson, or if you're somebody who uses your pickup for camping, there's just too many advantages of an electric one to actually consider going gas. So I think it's gonna happen really quickly. In addition to that, the cost advantages are enormous. The cost of ownership is a big part of the experience or the big part of the consideration before buying 
for people in the commercial sector. The Ram 1500 electric vehicle is expected to be built on the upcoming all new STLA frame, which was announced by Stellantis back in July of 2021. Apparently it's gonna be able to accommodate batteries from 160 to 200 plus kilowatt hours for a range of up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles. That's a pretty impressive range. For the platform, the manufacturer envisioned EDM, electric drive units, which will provide 150 to 330 kilowatt. However, if they have one at the front and one at the back, then that means you're looking at between 300 to 660 kilowatt. That's a lot of power. Imagine how quick this thing's gonna be. I mean, honestly, I don't think that's, that's a primary consideration for buyers, but it really is like truly laying the smack down to gas powered pickup trucks when you see the speed of these electric pickup. I mean, look at the speed of Rivian's electric pickup. It's the fastest pickup truck on the market, without a doubt. It's not even close. If you think about this, right, the Ford Raptor, the F-150 Raptor, is meant to be the epitome of performance for pickup trucks. But that thing is pretty damn slow in comparison to Rivian's fastest pickup. Now, Ram have announced two different targets. They'll deliver fully electrified solutions in the majority of its segments by 2025. If they don't, they're going to go bankrupt, so they sure as hell better. And they'll deliver a full portfolio of electrified solutions for all of its segments no later than 2030. Stellantis is currently in the process of securing enough battery supply for the electrification of RAM and its other brands. The group announced a battery gigafactory joint venture with LG Chem's LG Energy Solution for 40 gigawatt hours and with Samsung SDI for 23 gigawatt hours with an option for for 40 gigawatt hours. Now, honestly, that's still, even if they take up that option, that's still only 103 gigawatt hours. It's not really that much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lot, but across the range of brands, I really hope that they're only gonna have these three factories just for RAM, because they don't, if they've gotta spread this around Stellantis's brands, it's just not enough battery supply. So this vehicle, if it's a plug-in hybrid, it, it kind of reminds me of vehicles like the Li One, which is made by Li Xiang in China. This is a plug-in hybrid and it's extremely popular in China. Is this a good choice though? No, it's not. The market is gonna want electric pickup trucks. I think it's not gonna take very long before people say, no, we don't want plug-in hybrids. That is a stopgap solution. It's not a solution really. You're basically making the vehicle massively heavy when you don't need to. You're carrying around two different drivetrains and that's a very, very complex vehicle. Reselling those vehicles in my opinion will struggle. I honestly don't think that's a good idea. But the reality is here, it does look as though they will offer two options. So one will be fully electric, the other will probably plug in hybrid. So at least, you know, they'll have the choice there for buyers to choose the fully electric vehicle. The key here is gonna be how many batteries they can get and how big their factory is, I mean, how many they can build of these vehicles because they're gonna have a huge amount of demand from, especially from Ram buyers, but also from buyers of pickup trucks who just want an electric truck and are basically probably willing to take any electric truck they can get their hands on. Realistically, this is the kind of vehicle that people need if they tow. You're gonna to need a truck with 200 kilowatt hour size battery if you tow things. So realistically, I think advertising this as an option is gonna give a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna say, well, what size is the battery? What's the range? Can I tow with it? No, I'm not gonna buy it. And if that answer from Ram is yes, then I think Ram will actually appeal to a lot of people. So the question is here, could you put a bigger battery in? Could you go, you know, maybe in the Ram 2500 or the 3500, could you put in a 300 kilowatt hour pack? Well, the only issue with that is, if you put in that size pack, plus the tongue weight of the trailer, you would probably exceed the payload capacity of all but the biggest of trucks. And then you would have a bit of a fuel economy penalty of hauling that size battery as well. In my view, the answer for the future for pickup trucks of this size is not to make the battery bigger by just making it, putting in extra cells, it's actually to improve the energy density. I think that probably by 2025, we're gonna see battery energy density hitting 400 watts per kilo. We're gonna have trucks which will have be able to have potentially double the range using things like structural battery packs or gigacastings. Those are the things that companies need to reduce weight of the vehicle in order to get more range. Plus then you increase the energy density of the batteries and then you're looking at a vehicle which might be able to give you a thousand kilometers of range even in a vehicle this size. That's what I can see happening in the future. Manufacturers don't actually put themselves in a position to build vehicles like that. They're gonna struggle. Now let me know what you think of Ram's pickup truck. Do you think they're gonna to be too late to the market? Would you consider buying one? Have a good day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.